What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ass to Cheese Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play video game discussion slash review. In this episode, I want to take a look at a personal favorite of mine for the Xbox 360. Yep, you guessed it. Blur. Which was developed by Bizarre Creations and published by Activision. With a May 2010 release date. This game is, of course, an arcade-style racing game, but it's a little bit something more, shall we say. It's, as Blur defines itself, powered up racing. So, just like I did with my Bioshock review slash game discussion, I'll go over some of the nitpicks first. First and foremost, when I want to get out of the way immediately, is just the learning curve to this game. It's... It's pretty steep. It takes a long while to get the hang of the, you know, way that these cars control and how to properly drift and how to move and everything else in this game. Second, which I can actually show you here, is sometimes as you're going through and trying to do various objectives, there's a lot you've got to do. So, for example, we'll go to this guy here. Each one of these things is a separate objective. The first five are the lights which you have to get, which you can get by coming in third place, second place, or fourth place. And then every single race has a fan run as well as gates. So, I mean, this is kind of a good thing in the fact that there's a lot of replayability, but the same account, say for instance, well, let's go into a race and I'll show you guys what I mean. So let's do this, and we're gonna pick our car. We'll pick a personal favorite of mine. I like to always use this one. Nissan 350Z. Definitely a whole bunch of cool cars in this game, especially if you're a car person. Definitely think this is one you would enjoy. So you'll see what I mean about this game being powered up racing here in just a minute. And I'll kind of go over some of the negatives and then we'll get on all the positives and reasons I really like this game. And yes, I do believe that for a racing game, this is a must own for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. It's also an immediate start. There's no like sit you know, like say for instance in Mario Kart, how you wait for the traffic light, it's just go. So in this game you have weapons that you can unleash. So for example, this weapon here that I have would be closest to to go with the Mario reference again, a green shell. And I have a shunt which kind of pushes cars out of my way. And as you can see, there's, there's a bit of a learning curve. Landmine, which I can go forward or backwards. So I'll just throw that in front of me. So this actually takes me to one of the other negatives that I wanted to get into. Which is just, you know, how tough this game is. Even on the lower difficulties, this game is just brutal. I mean... Computer AI is just downright unforgiving. I mean, I've been racing for what, maybe half a lap so far, and I'm only in 16th place. And it's, you know, near as I can tell, I haven't necessarily messed up in any major way. I'm gonna get the lightning bolt. Okay, so here's what I was talking about the fan runs. So let's go through that. So you have these gates that you have to pass through. And pretty much every single race, you have these. The issue is that if you get hit by an item like that, and I use that way too late, or maybe someone hits you with an item or pushes you out of the way, you can easily lose and not get through these gates in time, which then means you have to go through and try it again and try it again and try it again, and it can just become an absolute you know, pain in the tail. So sometimes having to sit here and keep redoing just to complete an objective in a race can be kind of tiresome. Oh my god, buddy, get out of my way. Of course he did. He got my item. I wanted that item. But I will say that the addition of all the objectives in the race does add a ton of replayability. I mean, there's always something to do. There's plenty of areas in this game to play in. So it's like, you know... When it comes to a racing game, it almost feels like there's something, you know, sometimes too much in this game. Got him. Where am I getting? Why are my weak tires dragging so bad? Oh, of course he did. Try to see if I can get him to use his shunt first. See if I can get him to 
leak first. Fire that off. And I'm about to take this hit. Yep. Wow, that went nowhere. Yay, we're healed. Health bar at the top. If you go all the way to red, you of course crash and burn. Speaking of, maybe we can make this guy crash and burn. That'd be kind of nice. Eventually. Jeez, how much health does he have? Well, that helps. Yay! Ooh, yay, and his item missed. Even better. Um, let's go with the lightning bolts again. Try not to hit this one. Oh, boy. This might hurt me more than it hurts him. Ooh, and it did. Please hit my lightning spots. So yeah, like I said, the computer is just absolutely unforgiving. I made one little mistake and I almost ended up in third place. So the difficulty in this game can be a little bit much at times. Buddy, would you launch your lightning, please? Uh, let's get the shot. Just in case he gets ahead of me. I.E. red shell. Counter it with a uh, counter shunt with a shunt. You can also do that as well. You can counter items with an item. Just like you can in most, you know, kart style racing games. It feels like with this game they were trying to kind of meld a kart style racing game with an arcade style racing game. And overall I feel that they did a very good job. I really have no complaints about anything in the game. Major complaints, I, will, I should say. comes to the controls obviously you know it takes quite a long time to really get the hang of drifting and the way to turn and everything else to race well but you know the cars do control very solid it's definitely one to fit everybody's play style so it was just one race right there and there's a whole bunch of different race modes so speaking of this game's currency which you can unlock you know different cars and stuff is being status so let's go to a different event here. Okay, we'll do a destruction one next. Why not? We'll pick a different car. Speaking of, I should show this off actually real quick while I'm thinking about it. Every single one of these little areas has a boss at the end. So when you go through, you clear all these, then you get to face the boss at the end. If you beat the boss, then you get their special modifications. So for example, the first one is you get the overbol overbolt. So we'll go through and do the second one which I haven't quite gotten all of them, but I'm almost there. In each area, is a different boss you get to unlock later on in the game. Like I said, there's a lot in this game. So we'll do one more race here just to show it off. The big drawback is that unfortunately, a sequel to this game was never released. It's kind of sad as that is. Eh, sure, we'll choose this one. And this game is, you know, dare I call it a hidden gem? Yo, please don't cancel me, Metal Jesus, to borrow his, you know, their term. But it does kind of fetch a heftier price for racing games. I've seen this one in the wild for, for the PlayStation 3 for found around $40. Which for a racing game, some people may not really want to pay. So, I, I mean, I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly understandable. I definitely want to choose a nice, good drifting car for this next race. Good. We're going to need lots of these. We're going to start bolting some cars. Another fan duel race we got to go through. Try to pass all these gates. This one's not too bad. This is called Destruction Mode. Just, just as it sounds, just try to wreck as many cars as you can. The more cars you wreck, the faster you go. And speaking of, I should ask, is this a racing game? You, know, you own this racing game. Have you played this one before? Have you ever heard of it? 
Personally, it's one that I've had in my collection for a long, long while. Oh, I got that one reflected back at me. But it's always well been one that in, on occasion I come back to, enjoy playing, hopping in for a little while. Maybe someday I'll get much, much further into the game. It's just so many, uh, like so many other people, so many racing games to play, so little time. Seems like there's always another game in my collection I'm trying to work on. How'd we do? Hey, all right. Yay, we got it. 101 points. All right, cool. Hey, we did better than my previous. All right, all right, all right, cool. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the style review. A little bit more of a deep dive than just my quick. If you do, comment below. If you, Especially if you made it this far. Give me a car emoji in the chat. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new, please subscribe. Until next time.